Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the memorial of St. Peter Julian Amard, the founder of the Society of the Blessed Sacrament. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and humbly commend ourselves to the unfailing mercy of God. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned St. Peter Julian Amard with the wonderful love for the sacred mysteries of the body and blood of your Son, graciously grant that we too may be worthy to receive the delights he drew from this divine banquet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the, a reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them, did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him, and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told them on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. 
Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord, he conversed with him. He removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. So he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It's a common experience among us newly ordained priests that when people would approach, lalo na po, when they would learn that we were just ordained, for example, on our end, seven, eight months ago, they would say these words, Amoy Diyos pa si Father. Kung kitchen language lang po ang gagamitin natin, some would even say, Si Father, si na Father, fresh from the oven pa, mainit-init pa, sariwa pa. My dear brothers and sisters, inside the camp, the tent where Moses would regularly meet the Lord, intimacy did not only happen. Moses enjoyed his solitude with the Lord. Solitude that would mean not only being alone, but learning and listening from God himself. To their surprise, after would Moses return or would report back inside the camp, his face would glow and people would rejoice. And maybe at first, 
were so full of fear, they rejoiced over the words and inspirations from God through Moses. My dear friends, many times we will be enjoying our solitude and our intimacy with God. Marahil po, madami po sa inyo dito, araw-araw po na naririto. Madami po na sa mga kapatid natin online, araw-araw nagsisimba. The Manila Cathedral, the altars, your house altars, your sacred spaces, served as your tent where you can be intimate and enjoy your solitude with God. Part and hopefully, after every formation, learning, listening, and praying with the Lord, we have our faces glowing. And going back to my story, Amoy Dios tayo. While at prayer and intimacy with the Lord, we are made and formed to be a treasure buried in a field and a pearl of great price so that whenever, would, whenever people would seek and ask our presence, we too may be a source of joy. Through us, they'll be happy again. And through us, they'll be blessed again. After going to the camp, Moses' face would glow. People would approach him and they would partake of the messages of the Lord. And maybe they might even share the joys and excitements with one another from what the Lord had told Moses. We will be in moments where we, are, where, where we will be asked to report to the camp and be intimate and in solitude with God. But after which, we, we will be again going out to people seeking the same presence and love of God. And that is why, be ready to share those. Be ready to be their source of joy and consolation. Let our intimacy and solitude with God bring joy and hope to everyone. We celebrate today the memorial of St. Peter Julian Amard, founder of the Blessed Sacrament Fathers. His great devotion to the Eucharist brought his confreres and devotees of the Eucharist that joy in being with the Lord is also experienced when we are also joyful and happy being with people. Masaya sa piling ng Diyos, kaya masaya sa piling ng tao. Sharing the afterglow of our prayers, of our experiences with God. After every Eucharist, prayers, and solitude with the Lord, mga amoy Dios po tayo. We will be coming out fresh from the oven. Let us share the afterglow of seeing the Lord because being with God may we be the reason why others will rejoice and value every treasure, every pearl of great price. God is giving them through you and through every one of us. Please stand. Let us heed the invitation of God our Father to ask from Him what we wish Him what we wish Him to give us, and let it be what is important. For every prayer we shall say, 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops may be guided and inspired by the wisdom of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may use the material gifts necessary for our well-being in a proper way and not become victims of greed and selfishness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are searching for the truth may daily come to a deeper appreciation of faith in Jesus Christ as the pearl of great price, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may be blessed in their sacrifices, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rest in eternal peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass, the prayers of our dear brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming, our prayers for one another, our own intentions, and please join me as well in thanking God for the gift of life to a brother priest, my ordination batchmate, Father Paul Hakome. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, source of all that is good in life, help us to use your gifts wisely and to rejoice in the treasure of your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, who we were pleased to create in blessed Peter Julian Amard, the new man in your image, the old having passed away. Graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Peter Julian Amard, you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. 
teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Peter, Julian, Amard, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand? Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Peter Julian Amard and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of, Je of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, tonight, our healing rosary will be hosted and we will be live from the parish and community of the Transfiguration of Our Lord in Cavinti, Laguna. We offer and still address to God our prayers of healing and may God bless us always with His grace and with His love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Eucharist has been offered. Thanks be to God. Amen.